Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There's actually been more than the 554 earthquakes there in Puerto Rico in the last week. Shockingly, scientists have found that the greatest displacement from a flyover of satellites of the area occurred west of Ponce, not far from the quake's offshore epicenter. NASA officials wrote in a statement on Friday, January 10th. Today is January 14th. They recorded up to five and a half inches, 14 centimeters of ground change. The ground appeared to shift downward and slightly to the west. I have talked about the past earthquakes in this area, how Puerto Rico is being crushed by the Muertos Trough and the Puerto Rican Trench. There is a Twitter post. You can go to space.com and see the changes that have happened there on the island. Yeah, five and a half inches of sinking. That's quite a bit. And evidently, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is going to Puerto Rico today. The emergency trip, they're calling it, comes after hundreds of thousands of people remain without power and water. Today, they're reporting a lot of earthquakes. You know, we got a 4.3, a 4.6. Uh, 4.0. I'm just going to mention some of the larger ones. And, you know, I've talked about the the trough here. I still believe that there's a larger earthquake coming. Uh, USGS believes so. there's a 3% chance of a larger earthquake. You can see how the trough goes up here around the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Port-au-Prince. Yeah, where they had devastating earthquakes back in the 1700s and Jamaica. A lot of people are still afraid of sleeping in their homes. Yeah, with no water, no power, it's not surprising that the public health has declared an emergency. Yeah, you gotta think about sanitation, the sewage, clean water. Evidently, President Trump declared the health emergency on January 7th. There's another Twitter post uh, showing all the earthquakes that occurred before the magnitude 6.4 earthquake on January 7th. Those are in green. And then the red ones are January 14th, I suppose. Earthquakes greater than a 5.0. I try to make it larger. This is as large as the Twitter post will go. And then, you know, the different earthquakes. And then they also got the location. There's Ponce. Can you imagine that? five and a half inches the ground has dropped. Some people are questioning why New York Governor Como is going to Puerto Rico when New York is 6.1 billion dollars in debt. Yeah, I don't know. Does he plan on running for some political, <laughs> you know, senator, uh, congressman, president in the future? I don't know. There's still thousands of people in shelters and they're still recovering from Hurricane Maria where close to what 2,700, almost 3,000 people died. And the article on the New York Post said that last week the New York Port Authority sent employees there to help with the power outage in Puerto Rico. He evidently also spent Thanksgiving there on the island with his three daughters. So. Yeah, he has some closeness, I guess he feels, for the Puerto Ricans. So, what are your thoughts about all the things that are happening there? Put your thoughts down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.